What's up all you photon blasting dudes and dudettes, Toy Shiz here, and I got a really quick video for you today. We're totally going to be checking out the rest of the Marvel Legends Captain Marvel Kree Sentry Build-A-Figure Wave. We already took a look at the Great Gargoyle, we took a look at Genus Fell, and we took a look at the oh-so-exciting Nick Fury with that new suited body when the tie is a little bit undone. Wild! Thank you guys for that that's just super exciting compared to these other two man i just don't know what to do with myself i'm actually more stoked on the cat to be quite honest with you what's up with the cat can't wait to see the movie find out so we're going to take a look at all the rest of these figures talos captain marvel holding the cat yon rog and then captain marvel flying in package and don't forget we got two exclusives those should be hitting towards the end of January, maybe into February, and with Walmart, we might see them by early 2020. So without further ado, let's yank these things out, build the crease Sentry, check out the figures. Here is Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, Marvel Legends, Kree Sentry, build the figure wave. And here are all the figures out of the packaging, and they're looking pretty good. Again, you on Rob, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, and you got Talos the Scroll. Let's start with him. I'm really liking this figure, actually. I, I think that they captured the face perfectly. I like what they did. It looks exactly like the actor. He's got a really nice sense of rotation. Look at it. The collar doesn't hinder it. You know what I mean? That's really cool. Going back, it's the back of his head hindering it. But uh, yeah, he can, uh, he can get some good, good head poses out of this. The character does have an ab crunch. It's in there. It's just underneath the jacket. Full rotation. Double jointed elbows that's actually pretty cool look at that looks like he has a broken arm you have the uh the hand rotation this i love the guy's hands on this that's pretty cool love the long fingers very very scroll like really excited to see how they really pull these guys off lots of little lines lots of little details the boots all that kind of stuff this might actually be reused i think from the loki figure but hey you know what if it works it works really like all the line work really makes the figure and i especially Love the face. One thing they could have done, added some extra heads. You got a shape shifter. That would have been really cool. I know he's going to have the same body, but have some fun with it. Put some extra heads. I'm sure that in the movie, that guy turns into a few different people. Captain Marvel holding the cat up next. I am not going to remove these. I like the pose that it's in. I like that that's how it's going to go. It's really nice. Bomber jacket. That's pretty awesome. And I actually do like the back. I haven't seen anybody with a messed up one in reviews yet. So that is really cool. Wings, jet, star, all that kind of stuff. Looks to be, let's see, the same exact, yeah, same exact body for this one, just with the jacket thrown on top. Face sculpt, it's okay. A lot of people are saying Amy Poehler, not really Brie Larson. It's kind of a mix. I don't think it's a bad looking face. I just don't think it's exactly Brie Larson. I, we're gonna take a look at the other one. I think that's a little bit more spot on. Love the cat. Love its eyes. That is pretty cool. He's going to be one flirking cat. I tell you what, I'm really excited to see what they do with that. Nicely sculpted boots. All that great stuff. I'm going to save most of this, but, uh, you know, for articulation for this next figure, which I'm actually really digging on. I love this Captain Marvel. I love this thing. And I'm so excited that they did the hair in this movie. I love the faux hawk. They have the Brie Larson smirk down perfectly. This looks more like Brie Larson than the actual like face sculpt. I think that's great. Love the metallic coloring. Love all the little details and intricacies and everything. They really rocked it. They really put some money into this figure and it shows. A lot of fun to pose this one. You can get her into a lot of different stuff. She's got, you know, ab crunch and Double jointed knees so you can get her into that full Captain Marvel. Now she does have single jointed elbows as usual, but hand rotation 360. Nice, uh, you know, you can do a lot with that. Put her back. She's, you know, point the toes. Got to get her in a superhero pose. That, that's cool. I'm definitely, definitely digging that. So very happy. Oh, let's go over. Really, really digging that. Let's pop the head off real fast. There we go. Here is this version of the head. Now, this one, this one's a little bit more Brie Larson, I gotta say. Let's let's take a look here. The comparisons are there. This one, I'm definitely saying is more Brie Larson. The hair, I like what they did with the hair, I like the windswept look, everything else like that, but I still think that this is definitely Brie 
Larson. Let's see if these heads swap. Let's do it this way. See, this is what I mean. You can actually build one heck of a Captain Marvel figure with all the four of them that are coming out. So, you know, Swan, let's see. Does this, this one sits a little bit high, maybe kind of, sort of. Yeah, a little bit high on this one. I mean, as you can see, it's pushed all the way down, but um, not too shabby. Let's see what this one looks like on this. See, it's going to be missing, you know, it's a little loose, but a little bit bigger. That's what I mean. Why don't they Why don't they work on that so you can interchange them and stuff if you want to do that? Like, that's kind of cool. You know, the neck part's missing, but still, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. So you can swip swap all the parts as far as the Captain Marvel figures. Let's take a look at Yon. Rog, now this is the Jude Law character. Really, again, great, great detail on these figures. Nice head sculpt. Don't think that this looks like Jude Law in any way, shape, or form. But, uh, yeah, I mean, even with the helmet on, you can usually buy the mouth, all that kind of good stuff. But love what they did with the helmet, all the line work, all the intricacies. Looks to be painted well, and that's another thing. All these figures seem to be painted rather nicely. The metallic paint looks great. You know, black parts here, green parts there. Nice, big, hefty clodhopper boots. His head goes up about that much, so that's cool. You can get him looking up, down about that much. Ab crunch, waist swivel. Little bit of a gummy belt so you can have it work with this. Uh, you can, he has a bicep swivel. This thing right here, he has double jointed elbows, but this thing gets in the way from doing anything with it. So, can't really do much with that uh he's got you know wrist rotation at the wrists and everything comes with this space gun unfortunately nothing to put it into that's a bummer i like when you have uh when you have a little bit of a weapon storage double jointed knees and he's got the rocker let's take a look at the gun one thing i will say though it looks to have a new sculpted hand or it just it looks bigger crafted holds the gun well here is the space gun not much to it, just a simple, simple silver, well, not, it's not really painted at all, it's just a, it's a silver gray plastic, but like I said, it goes into his hand well, situates nicely, so overall, these are some great figures. And these are all of the Captain Marvel figures. Now that we took a look, why don't we go ahead and build the Kree Sentry. Put the final touch right on top of the head. And there you go. You got the Kree Sentry all built and he's looking pretty muscular, pretty massive. And next to Captain Marvel, that is pretty, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move her back. Now, just to take a look, you got the head on a rotation just like this looks down about that much looks back about not much <laughs> the arms are going to go out you can do a 360 single jointed elbows he oh he does have a bicep swivel that's cool kind of has got some sentinel hands i remember when they first showed this thing i was like what kind of sentinel is that and then i was like oh that's the that's the cree sentry hands on that side he does have an upper crunch to it actually gets some nice range of motion out of him very very robotic but very very cool i love all the intricacies all the gears the wires the parts all that stuff on him he's actually a really really cool figure i gotta say i love i love a robot that's that's the thing so i'm biased towards that but i mean look at the back of this figure the paint shines sheen everything even the silver this is a very cool build a figure it is it's the design it's a little bit outdated this thing is from you know 60s 70s and stuff like that but i really feel like that was a cool choice for a build a figure for a cosmically themed wave actually you know people are saying why is the great gargoyle you can go ahead and watch my who in the holy heck video and you can find out why exactly they would put the great gargoyle in there overall i honestly think that this is a nice set of figures i think you're going to be happy I think if you're on the fence about the Captain Marvel movie, I would wait. I would honestly wait till you see the movie. Maybe you'll like it. You can go out after the movie with yourself, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your kids, whatever. Go and buy the entire set because I guarantee you they're going to be on shelves. People aren't really flocking for these. That's just how it is. They're on the fence about the movie, but you know what? They're pretty rocking figures overall. There's a couple discrepancies here and there. Yeah, they could have made this or done this instead, but solid... Solid wave, I think, of actual figures. 
just really wish there wasn't four Captain Marvels. I think we could have gotten different figures as a result. But let me know. Comment below what was your favorite figure. Which one could they have left out? Would you have liked to have seen instead? And you like to build a figure? Could they have done something different? Let me know. Let's talk toys. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, find some fantastic action figures like a few of these Hasbro Marvel Legend Captain Marvel figures. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.